think this, the reason that the business has degenerated, you had um, people who genuinely wanted to make music and other people who genuinely wanted to sell that music, and then the profits began. In those days, we never referred to a gig as a show. It was always a concert. And then it became a show. Are you going to the Aerosmith show? Are you going to the Kiss show? The shows themselves were becoming more shows and less concerts. People were going to these, these concerts that had become visual extravaganzas and the music just started to disappear and disappear and disappear into the, into the distance. And then, to top it all off, to make it even worse, people started playing in the rock clubs. And as soon as the rock clubs became the scene, now you were mixing this kind of over excessive rock band trying to do it in a smaller place with a bunch of people drinking beer. And so it became drinking man's rock instead of thinking man's rock. The one thing that I always thought probably contributed the most towards the demise of rock and roll was the video. So now you're gonna get your chance, you're gonna get yourself on video, and people are gonna see on video. Well, what they didn't tell everybody was that the video world was gonna do exactly the same as the radio world did. It was gonna become extremely corporate, it was gonna be very selective about who it played. The music just kept getting put down and down and down while the visuals came up and up and up. It wasn't even about the songs anymore. So what were we selling to people? What were people really buying? Today, the business is much more open about how it screws people and it, and it manufactures artists at an alarming rate. It doesn't really have a whole lot of genuine artists, so it goes out there and it finds whoever it can flipping burgers and makes them a big star on stage for a year or two and the next thing you know, they're gone. I, mean, I don't know what happened in the late 70s and in the 80s, but corporate pop took over and it's just horseshit. The record industry is found ways to make more money on things that perhaps hadn't been considered before. You know, we had package tours or DVDs or 15 different versions of a record in 12 different territories. Back in the 60s and 70s, there was an enormous amount of, you know, kind of reckless cash. That, that kind of crazy cash is not there anymore. I think the music industry got too fat. There has been a kind of surge during the last 10 years this is of signing, like a signing frenzy. The results of that is that we have a flooded market. The music industry is going down the shitter within the last 10 years. Everything changed, like media changed, the, 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 the old industry changed when the CDs came out because everybody now is, is uh, copying music and CDs and then they don't buy as much music. There's less money for record sales. Record sales are going down. The major labels are, gonna, are just determined to stay the same. Is there more money for artists? No, there's less money for artists. I just can't stand the uh, business aspect of it. There's no room for like true artists anymore with numbers. Yeah, everyone cares about sound scans. They don't give a shit about you know. Yeah. You know Show how tell what your band is. Bands build their own foundation and stuff. Other people capitalize on it. Yeah. Yep. People go into the business now almost knowing that they're going to get screwed by it, and they go in anyway. Mm -hmm.